Good morning from the Wallapini. Say hi, William. Hi, William. <laughs> what else should I say? All right. William has been proposing a challenge, and he's been proposing this challenge for a long time. So, as you all know, we are farmers. We've been farmers for a long time, and we've eaten a good portion of our diet from the farm every year, right? What What do you think? What's our percentage? What's the highest percentage we've gotten up to, do you think, from like, off-farm? Like, like ever? Yeah. We've never been 100%. Well, some years it's been probably 75 mm. to 85%. That's probably true. Uh, most years, in our entire marriage of 26 years, it's been... 40, 50 percent? Yeah, uh, that's probably accurate. We eat a lot from the farm, right? Because, I mean, why wouldn't we? So William has a challenge. He has spent most of his life wanting to eat 100 percent off of the farm. Which probably isn't realistic. It's not completely realistic because we don't raise a lot of fruit here. Uh, it's just, you know, here, let me turn it around. You can see there's, you know, we have to have the controlled environment agriculture to have the, the greens year-round. Which is wonderful because we do have greens year round. I'm not sure. Okay, what's the what's the temperature outside right now? Mm. It's like in the teens, right? This morning. Yeah, it's like 14 degrees. But outside. you know, we've got greens and, growing beautifully. And it's 20. It's like 29, 30 degrees in here. In here, up right. here, but down here under the row cover, we moved this row cover to look at things. But under the row cover, it's about right at 30. Right. So things are frozen, but that's the beautiful thing. Is we grow the plants that can freeze and keep growing, and then there's no expense in heating and electricity and all that stuff. Right. Okay, so here's the challenge. William has been talking about having a full year of eating like 90% of what we consume. I call it 100%. He calls it 100%. But that's not But real. I pushed back against that. He's like, dude, I want salt and pepper. <laughs> Well, no, no, and I want and I want milk, and we don't have a cow now. You know the Sorensons have a cow, and they're really generous and share their milk. But you know, I I don't milk a cow because I'm going to school and and working and other things, and it's not feasible to milk a cow when you're not right here all the time. So within reason, about ninety percent, which is a huge challenge. And I have I I just want. I want some input from this. Is this something that would be interested, interesting to our subscribers? Because we have a lot of people who are interested in the Wallapini, and I do the updates, but the Wallapini is just in, it's in your normal flow now. It's in the, it's in the garden plan. So it's, he's done with the building process and he's, um, you know, you're just planting and, and harvesting on schedule. And we, we've been thinking about doing this for some time. And I want to know if it's actually something that's going to be interesting because this is going to be a challenge. But I, I'm one of those people that I, I perform better. I help. I, I consistently stick with something better if I have people who are involved and engaged with it. That's pretty accurate, wouldn't you say? Sure. Sure. <laughs> anyway, love to hear your thoughts on it because it would be a huge commitment on my part <laughs> and his part because, you know, I'm the one doing a lot of the cooking. Um. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. What kinds of things would you be interested in seeing if we tried to eat 90% from the farm, from the ranch, from the Wallapini? Is this something that would interest you? Let us know.